Hello everyone, this is Alejandro with GSC and today we're going to take a look at an awesome drawing feature called Whole Table. When it comes to creating holes on parts such as fixture plates like the one I shown here, uh, creating the holes is typically a very easy process but then dimensioning these holes in your drawing can be a very time consuming process due to having to add so many location dimensions. In this video, we're going to take a look at an awesome feature that will allow us to easily uh, define the location of each one of these holes so that the machine shop can easily manufacture uh, the plate with the fixture plate with all the holes in it. So if you look at this fixture plate, you can see we have several different types of holes. We have a half inch dowel hole. We have four of them. We have six one inch tapped holes and we even have a counter bore. So let's go ahead and make a drawing to define factors uh, information on how to create this part. So we'll go ahead and make a drawing from our fixture plate. I'll go ahead and choose my template and I'll begin by adding a couple of views. So here's my top view. I'll go ahead and project my right view and my top view and I'll even add an isometric view. And we'll go ahead and change the display style of our isometric view. So now typically with any part you have to add some dimensions. In this case some of the dimensions uh, we have to add is not only the size of our holes but also the location of each one of these holes. Now if I start defining let's say the location of this bottom left dial hole, first I have to define the x distance, I have to define the y location distance, and then I have to go ahead and define the hole size information, including the hole depth. So that's essentially three dimensions that I have to add for one single hole. And I'm going to have to repeat this process for each one of these other holes. This is going to lead to a lot of dimensions and lots of time. So I'm going to show you a better method of defining the size and location of each one of our holes. So in order to create a hole table, you're going to want to hit the tables pull down and select hole table. So here on the left side you have the hole table property manager. And here you can see you can create your own template. Typically I just use the default stock template. Um, you can define a tag order. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as X and Y. You can define your X and Y datums, or in my case, I'm just going to define an origin point. And my X and Y datums will be automatically defined. From here, you must then select all the holes that you wish to include. So for example, maybe I just want to add the doll holes to my hole table. So I simply click an edge of the dial hole and I select OK. And you can see the end result. A whole table is created. Here we have a column for the tags and these tags correlate to the tags that are actually on the drawing next to each hole. We also have the X and Y locations. This is very useful information because the machinist can then just program their CNC or, uh, or measure out. Uh, using the manual machine uh, how far they need to go in order to plunge and create that hole. So here you can see where my x0, y0 is. That's my origin point which I define and based on that origin point you can find the hole locations based on these x and y coordinates on the table. Also you also have the size and hole depth here in the last column. And so the manufacturer pretty much has all the information it needs to create these four dial holes. So let's go ahead and actually create a hole table for all of our holes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my table. You can see my tags disappear. And I'll go ahead and create a hole table one more time. Once again, I'll define my origin point. And then I'm simply going to select each one of these holes. In this case, I'll just window select, hit OK. And you can see here, all of my holes have been added to my hole table. 
And you see here, you can see all the tags, X, Y locations, and all the different sizes. And also make note in the sizes, it's pretty much the hole call out. You have the size and you even have the depth of the hole. In the case of tapped holes, you even have the drill size diameter, the depth, and then the actual tap size and depth. One also huge benefit is because you have this table, you don't have uh, a whole bunch of crowded dimension, location dimensions and size dimensions in your drawing view. So you can clearly see all the features uh, on your front view of your fixture plate without being without having a whole bunch of dimensions getting in the way. You can also modify your whole table in different ways. So if I actually click the table and the whole table property manager pops up, you'll see you have under tag order, you have an option for reduced toolpath, which will essentially try to reorder the whole tags on the table uh, based on the fastest way to actually manufacturing them. So here you see A1, A2, A3, A4, and then B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and then C1. So essentially, it'll try to create the holes as fast as possible. Here you also have a radio option, which also changes uh, the way the holes are ordered. Um, you can also change the tag types. So here you can see instead of using A, B, C, you can use numbers. And the table also updates. You can also create your own custom tags if you want to. Instead of ABC, you can create something else. Um, you can also combine items on the table. So since A1, A2, A3, and A4 are all the same size, here you can kind of uh, make a note of that or see that a little more clearly by combining uh, same tags. When you do this, though, one thing to be aware of is that the actual X, Y locations will disappear. Uh, so instead, you can take that off or you can just combine same sizes. And so here, all the, all the X, Y locations remain. The tags can all be seen, but the size is just one cell. So this pretty much tells you, hey, all four of these holes are the same size. All the B holes are the same size and all the C holes are the same size. And once again, each one of these whole different holes are kind of differentiated essentially by having a different uh, tag prefix, A, B, C. So that is how you can speed up productivity and detailing uh, by creating a whole table. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching. Uh -huh.